Okay, now we have a chest tube in and this chest tube was just placed in. What do we need to monitor for? The initial output, of course, is it bloody or not? What kind, right? And amount, very important. Because if the patient is just pouring blood, then we should have the thoracic surgery as soon as possible because this patient may need to go to the OR to repair an injury there, a vascular injury, right? If there is a large amount of blood, they're saying more than three mil per kg per hour or something, but you don't have to quantify that. If you see blood just pouring nonstop, you need to type and cross that patient, make sure it's stable, get thoracic surgery as soon as possible, and if they were not the one who are who did it but let them know and of course transfuse the blood as needed that's one thing also if it's just serous fluid you need to watch for how quickly we're draining uh, because let's say as soon as we put the chest tube we got 1.5 liter or more what's gonna happen once we evacuate air here or fluid this lung will expand right and rapid expansion of the lung from the compressed position especially if this let me call it compressed position the lung was in was more than three days and now you, you clearing or evacuating whatever causing compression and the lung expand quickly you put it at risk of what we call re-expansion pulmonary edema and this is can be life-threatening like any other pulmonary edema and it's something you want to avoid what they do if you are evacuating pneumothorax really there is not much you can do Although sometimes you said pneumothorax, especially spontaneous pneumothorax, you just put it at water seal, which means if this is external suction, water seal may mean that you evacuate without connecting this external suction to the drainage unit. If you connect the external suction to the drainage unit, this is not just water seal. You're draining by water seal and by external suction. So spontaneous pneumothorax, some argue said, just leave it for water seal and remember the the drainage unit has to always to be at the level lower than the chest so this is something very important you have to watch patient will get short to breath and hypoxic for sure a size exactly like any other pulmonary edema and you need to treat it promptly now to prevent it some saying if you're draining fluid and you got 1.5 liter and more you can clamp the tube to slow down the drainage but you be very careful with clamping if you not experienced enough with chest tube never clamp it on your own because if there is any kind of air leak or you clamp it on somebody with pneumothorax you will induce tension pneumothorax which is life-threatening condition as all of you know but if you know what you're doing you don't have air leak for sure and you just want to slow down this re-expansion pulmonary edema, uh, re uh, slow down the drainage to reduce the risk of re-expansion pulmonary edema. Let's say, but that's only if you got 1.5 or 2 liters as soon as you put the drainage tube in, clamp the tube for an hour just to slow it down. Always do not clamp the tube. I always tell the residents, let the person who placed the tube decide whether to clamp it or not. The last thing is to induce tension pneumothorax if you have air leak never 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 clamp the tube as well please be careful about that now if you get the re-expansion pulmonary edema treat it like any other with fluid restriction with BiPAP with Lasix all of oxygen of course all of these things um, for fluid again the possibly of clamping the chest tube don't do it in your own without permission from the person who did it make sure there is no air leak if it's from pneumothorax there is no choice you just treat it if it happens from from hemothorax the same thing 
but again with the hemothorax if you have a lot of blood pouring this patient likely need to go to the OR so that's the initial things we look for with the initial drainage with chest tube thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board